Now, for those of you who are not familiar with Market Traders Institute, let me just take a quick minute here. Let me explain to you who Market Traders Institute is. We are an actual education institute. We are not a broker, nor are we affiliated with a broker. I know many of you might be asking that as we're going along. We are an education institute. We're here to educate traders, train them, give them tools, and support them as they're going around. Now, we also have been around since April 1994, so we're actually celebrating our 21st anniversary this year. Uh, we are located in beautiful Lake Mary, Florida. Those of you who are familiar with the Central Florida area, that's about 20 minutes north of Orlando, Florida, about 40 minutes north of uh, Walt Disney World. The building you see on your screen, that is actually our building. I am broadcasting out of that building here today. And in this building, we employ over 100 of the most talented staff in the forex industry. The staff is here to help you and support you as you're going along. Now, I also operate under a single mission. That is to create successful traders through the empowerment of education. Uh, one of the little known things that is uh, most people don't know is that we actually have trained about 30,000 traders around the world over the last 21 years. We do have an internal goal here. By the end of 2015, we'd like to change the lives of an additional 30,000 students. And if this, you're saying this is something that you can do, we'd love for you to become one of our next success stories. Now, to show you how we invest back into our students, uh, in 2014, we invested almost 90,000 hours of support time. 2015, we're projecting uh, almost 100,000 hours of support time back into our students to help give them everything that we believe in our ability necessary to be successful in this market. Now, you might be wondering, well, what all does that mean? Well, it's simply what that means is that we did a survey, found out that our traders are about 77% more profitable than the average trader. So to give you an idea of how we reinvest back into our students to help our traders become more successful, showing you the idea of the type of results we're actually able to achieve with our students. So before we go into the live market here, before I explain the strategy, I saw a lot of you, probably I got about 50, 75 of you type in, you have no idea what the Forex market is, you're brand new. So let me get you up to speed. Let me quickly explain to you what the Forex market is before we actually go into the live market. Now, the Forex market, it is the largest financial market with almost limitless amounts of liquidity. This is a very large market. There's over $5 trillion daily traded in this market. Now, what that means is that there's a ton of potential in this market for people just like you and me who are looking to generate a source of income from it. Now, one of the key points about this market is that it is very flexible. There are three trading sessions that go on daily in this market. This means this market is traded 24 hours a day, five days a week. Now, these three major trading periods, there is the Tokyo trading session, there is the London trading session, and there is the New York, the United States trading session. Now, generally the Forex market, it is most active when these sessions overlap. So the strategy I'm going to be showing you here today, it's going to be focusing on when the Asian market and the European market, when they overlap, this causes directional movement in the market. And then you have the European session and the U.S. session when they overlap as well. I'll go ahead and I'll better explain that when we go into the live market, but just wanted to give you an idea of how this market works. Now, another neat thing about this market is that the Forex market, it allows you to focus. Unlike other markets, like the stock market, there are thousands and thousands of stocks you can watch and trade. Here in the Forex market, there's only about 60 different currency pairs to trade. Neat thing about the strategy I'm about to show you here is that MTI, we're actually going to show you which six currency pairs to focus on, and we're going to teach you the secrets to trading them with this strategy. So when I go into the live market, I'm actually going to show you which six currency pairs that we actually focus on here. Now, let me explain to you today what I'm going to be showing you here. This is part of what's called our Live Market Forex Mentorship and Empowerment Program. Now, in this program, I'm going to be teaching the strategy, but as becoming part of our mentorship program, you're actually going to learn in live market sessions here from these two live professionals. They're actually going to show you. They're going to teach you how to mimic their Forex trading success during the London breakout strategy. And you'll be able to avoid, uh, understand how to avoid costly mistakes and you'll be able to pick their brains just like those of you who are asking questions, just like in this session here today. Now, let me quickly explain to you and let me introduce you to the, the creator of this London breakout strategy. His name is Joshua Martinez. Uh, Joshua, he is one of MTI's product experts here at Market Traders Institute. He has trained thousands of Forex investors around the world. He did turn an initial divestment, deposit investment of $500 and generate a profit of over almost $40,000 in it. Uh, he made thousands of Forex investments. He is a published author. He's an international speaker, professional analyst, and he is a full-time trader. Now, to give you an idea of uh, Joshua here, he started out like many of you. Maybe those of you 
that are trading the forex market, maybe you start off placing trades. Maybe you're making seven dollars on a trade, two dollars on a trade. Maybe you're losing two dollars on a trade, making three, two or three. Maybe basically you're going back and forth, making a little bit of money, losing a bit of money. Now you fast forward Josh's account. Go about two years later. He's then starting to make four thousand dollars per trade, two twenty-five thousand, two thousand five hundred dollars per trade taking $10,000 out of his account, you can see here generating at $27,000, almost $28,000 during this trading. In fact, let me go ahead and pull up his trading account here. Let me show you here. Just like I just pointed out there, yeah, he had some wins, had some losses, basically, I us say breaking even, was making a little bit of progress, pulling back a little bit until right here. What he did right here, what we refer to as what's called a tipping point. Once he was able to hit his, his tipping point utilizing the strategy, you can see right here, trading account exploded. In fact, you can see here he's up about 4,548% 4, at the time of this screenshot right here. So to give you an idea of one of the traders who's going to be actually teaching you how to do this strategy in our live market sessions, give you a little credibility here. I will introduce you to the other one here after we go into the live market. Now, I don't have a lot of time here today, so I want to go ahead and go into the live market, and I want to pull up my chart. So if everybody could just please be so kind to type in a Y or yes, let me know that you can, in fact, see the charting software on the screen because I'm going to go ahead into the live market right now. I'm going to show you how this all actually works. So thank you, Donnie, uh, Burwell, James, uh, Tim, Lee, John Great. I appreciate everybody responding here. Now, I'm going to go ahead here. I'm going to give you a quick minute to go ahead and either do a screenshot here or I want you to write down the names of these six currency pairs because these are the six currency pairs we are going to be focusing on for this strategy. Now you have the Great British Pound Australian Dollar, and these all are on a one hour time frame. I will explain that here in just a moment. Uh, you have the Great British Pound Australian Dollar, uh, British Pound uh, Swiss Franc, the British Pound New Zealand Dollar, the Kiwi, the British Pound Canadian Dollar, the British Pound US Dollar, and you have the British Pound Japanese Yen. Now, before we go into the market here, let me quickly explain to you how what we're trying to do in this market. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring up here uh, the Great British Pound U.S. dollar. Let me go ahead and compress this here. Now let me explain to you here that when the market, what we're trying to do in this market is capture what are called PIPs. PIP. It is an acronym. It stands for Price Interest Point. Now a PIP. It has the exact same relationship to a penny that a penny does to a dollar. Now, just as there are 100 pennies in a U.S. dollar, there are 100 pips in a penny. In fact, if you look over here on the side of your screen right here, this is the price action on the chart right here. And you can see here the fourth digit right here, this fourth digit, that is what represents the pips. Second digit is a penny, fourth digit is a pip. Now, a pip, it represents one one-hundredth of a penny, just like a penny represents one one-hundredth of a dollar. Now, let me go ahead and here, let me compress this chart here for you. Let me explain to you how this actually works. Now, you have here, let's just say here we went from $1.48. Let's say the market moves from $1.48, and it goes up to $1.49, right about, right about there. Now, when this market goes up from $1.48 to $1.49, that right there, that is about what's one penny of price movement. But at that same point right there, in fact, I can take out my information tool right here, that same movement right there, that is what is 100 pips in that movement. Now, here's the neat thing about this market is that some of you are asking, can you actually short the Forex market? Absolutely. In fact, you can make money. You can make, in fact, that same movement when the market went down one penny, that's 100 pips when it goes down and 100 pips when it goes up. Now, in this market, let me go, so before I go ahead and explain the strategy to you here, we trade in lots. We have what's called a mini lot. We have what's called a standard lot. These are the two uh, major lot sizes that we trade. Now, with a mini lot, each pip, one pip equals $1. And your investment size, your investment size is about $200 per trade. I can type that out for you, invest slash trade. Now, this amount, it comes from your trading account. Your broker is going to borrow this investment size, and it's going to allow you to place the trade and to generate the pips because in this market, you can only win or lose pips. Now, a standard lot, a standard lot, each pip is worth $10. And with a standard lot account, 
uh, that's about a $2,000 investment per trade. This comes from your trading account. Now, this is because of leverage. Leverage gives us access to the most buying power. So with a mini lot trade, here in the United States, we trade with a 50 to 1 leverage. So with a mini lot account, that $200 investment, that's actually giving you, with that leverage, your trade is actually controlling $10,000 of a currency. With a standard lot trade, in fact, actually, let me go ahead, let me edit that right there. It's actually $2,000 per trade. Let me go ahead and make that right there. Now, with a 50 to 1 leverage here in the United States, now it might, might be different in the country that you are in. You might be in a different country. That $2,000 investment, because of our 50 to 1 leverage, that controls $100,000 of a current. So, so leverage gives us access to most buying power in this market. But what I want to do right now is I've gone ahead and give you a quick overview of how the Forex market works. What I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull up now the British pound, Japanese yen currency pair. And once again, these are on a one-hour time frame. I want to go ahead and pull this back a little bit here. I want to go over this strategy for you. But what I want to do is I want to quickly go ahead and explain to you how this strategy works. Now, as I mentioned, there are the three trading sessions that go on daily. You have the Asian trading session, you have the London trading session, and you have the U.S. trading session. Now, the London session, it begins at 2 o'clock. The U.S. session begins at 8 o'clock. Now, during this time period here, the Asian session is overlapping the London session, and then you have the London session then overlapping the United States session. So what we're looking for in this market, we're looking for this market to pull back, and we're looking for it to form either its high or low for the morning between 2 o'clock a.m. Eastern time and 5 o'clock p.m. I'm sorry, 5 o'clock, I'm sorry, 5 o'clock a.m. Eastern time. We're looking for it to form its either high or low for the morning. The reason for this is because right here you have the beginning of the London trading session and then you have the overlap from the end of the Asian session. So once again, a lot of directional movement during this time period. So we're looking for the market to form either its high or low for the morning between 2 a.m. and 5 a.m. Eastern time. Now we're also looking for the market to form its opposite, looking for its uh, form its opposite high or low for the morning between 8 a.m. Let me go ahead and type that out for you. Between 8 a.m. Eastern time and 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. I'll type this out for everybody. I'm going to go nice and slow. If I'm going too fast, just go ahead and let me know. Now, the reason for this is because you have the beginning of the U.S. trading session, and you have that overlap from the London trading session. So once again, looking for the market to form its higher low for the morning between 2 a.m. Eastern time and 5 a.m., and form its opposite high or low for the day between 8 a.m. Eastern time and 2 p.m. Eastern time. Now, what we've also found out is that on average, on average, a lot of these trade, these currency pairs, they have an average, an average daily trading range. Now, what we have found is the average daily trading range is usually, it's usually between 50 pips per day and 200 pips per day, meaning that we're looking for the market to move in one direction or the other a minimum of 50 pips, sometimes more than 200 pips per day. Now, is everybody getting this so far? Just go ahead and type in a Y, type in a yes. Let me know that you do, in fact, understand this here, because we're going to the market. I'm actually going to show you the actual strategy of how we're trading around. I just want to go ahead and come in here, give you a quick explanation of how this works, why we're able to come up with this London breakout strategy. Great. Thank you, Anthony Lee, I, Dwayne Joan. Great. I appreciate that. So let's go back in here now. I'm going to go ahead here. I've already set this up here. Our strategy is going to be, with this London breakout strategy here, we're going to be looking for the 3 o'clock a.m. Eastern time candle. We're going to wait for the close of this candle. And I know some of you might be asking questions, why 3 a.m.? This is what the professional analyst, uh, Josh Martinez, this is what he has determined as the peak time to actually take advantage of this strategy. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to head in here. I've labeled each one of these 3 a.m. candles. Now, can everybody see here? Let me just go ahead and make sure I have this set up. Great, great. So I'm going to come in here. And can everybody see here at the close of this 3 a.m. candle here, we had directional movement. The market pulled back just like that. Now, you have your next 3 a.m. candle. The market, directional movement, it went up. 
the next 3 a.m. candle, directional movement, the market pulled back. Next 3 a.m. candle, market rallied up. And then you have this 3 a.m. candle right here. You can see here directional movement. Now, I know some of you might be wondering, well, why this directional movement here? The reason is because the bulk of the process is done. The bulk of the Forex transactions, they are done during the London session here. The banks are processing their orders. This provides a huge injection of volume and this directional movement here. So this gives us the opportunity to take advantage of this directional movement. Now, so here it says here, I thought it was 2 a.m. to 5 a.m. Yeah, I'll basically give you an overview here. Between 2 a.m. and 5 a.m., we're looking for the high or low for the day. What we're looking for here, we're basing our strategy around the 3 a.m. Eastern time candle here. So basically what we're going to be looking for each and every day, we're looking for the 3 a.m. candle. We're looking for the close of that 3 a.m. candle. So everybody can see here we have 3 a.m. close of that candle, market pulls back. 3 a.m., market rallies up, pulls back, goes up, pulls back. Now this one right here, I know some of you might be going and saying as we're going along, well, how reliable is this strategy? Well, look right here. This trade right here, you see here there was not a lot of directional movement initially. Initially the market pulled back, but then it did in fact give us some directional movement. On this trade right here, though, based on the strategy I'm going to show you here, this probably would have been a loss right here. Just want to give you an idea. I do want to actually give you some perspective here. This isn't a fat and infallible system. That you are going to incur losses, but I think you're going to see as we're going along here that this strategy works very well. So what I want to do right now, so let me go ahead, let me pull that back up here. Let me go ahead and let me actually show you the strategy here. I got some time here. Let's back this up. Let me compress or decompress my chart. So let me zoom in here. And we're going to start off with this 3 a.m. candle right there. We're start off with that 3 a.m. candle right there. Let me go ahead and let me minimize that chart right there. Now, this is the 3 a.m. candle. Let me go ahead and let me focus on there so everybody can see that is the 3 a.m. candle right there. And let me go ahead and let me explain the strategy of what we're going to do. We're going to come in, and what we're going to start off doing at the close of that 3 a.m. candle, we're going to set two entry positions here. We're going to set an entry buy position 10 pips above the high of this candle. So we're going to come in here, and we're going to set our entry buy right there. I'm going to go ahead and type that out for you. Now, entry buy. This is going to equal plus 10 pips above the high. Let me go ahead and let me pull that out here. Actually, let me see if I can move that right there. Oops. Make that, oops. Sorry about that. Let me see if I can grab that. Oh, okay, we'll just leave that right there. Oops. So here's our entry buy. It's going to be 10 pips above the high. Now, this is just a pending Actually, let me edit that. Let me make it a little bit easier to understand right there. There we go. Okay, so there we go. Entry buy, 10 pips above the high. Now, this is a pending position. We are not actually in the market until we actually place, the market actually crosses and breaks that line. Now, we're also going to come in here. We're going to set an entry sell position five pips below the low of this candle. So we're going to come in here 42 and 37 right about there. That's going to be our entry sell position. So entry sell, that's going to equal minus 5 pips below the low. Below the low of that 3 a.m. candle. So we have two positions set here. We have an entry sell, entry buy. Both are pending orders. They're both pending until we actually either rally up and break that line or pull back and we break that line right there. So Let's go in here. Let's see what's actually going to happen right here on this trade right here. Let me zoom in here for you. Make it a little bit bigger so everybody can see. So let's see what happens on the next candle. Bam. Next candle, it goes ahead and right there crosses over. So our entry sell position right now, this entry sell position, this now just became a market sell position. Meaning that we are now in this market and we are now shorting the market as of right there. So our entry buy, our entry sell position just became a market sell. We've now gone into the market. Now, these pending orders, once again, these are simply done in your broker's platform. They're done in your broker's platform, and you simply can go ahead and place them just like that, go about your day, or you can go ahead and do these manually. But right there, 
We now enter into the market. We're now showing the market. Now, the first order of business, once we actually enter into the market, and actually Tahir brings up a good question here. Tahir says, why five pips below? The reason for this, and the professional analysts, they can actually explain this a little bit better, is that when we are buying into the market, we have to take into consideration for the spread. So we want to go ahead and we add additional five pips here when we're buying into the market for our entry buy position. So once again, we can go ahead in here. We can show you how this actually works when you're going into the market. So we're going to go ahead in right now. Let's go ahead. Let's place our trades right now. We go, we're actually in this market sell position. We're now shorting the market right there. And first order of business to come in, we're going to cancel this opposite order because we're no longer looking to buy this market. So we come in here. We cancel that opposite order. Now, we're also going to come in, next order of business, we're going to come in here, and we're going to set a stop loss. And our stop loss, when we are shorting the market, is going to be five pips above the high of this candle. So we're going to come in here, let's see, 78. That's going to be right about there. So there's going to be our stop loss. In fact, let me go ahead, stop loss when selling or when we're shorting this market. For those of you who are familiar with shorting the market here, that's going to equal, it's going to equal plus five pips above. Once again, this is when you're shorting the market here. When you're shorting the market, uh, when, you're, when you're actually uh, buying the market, your stop is going to go at the low of that candle. I'm actually show you a couple positions here. So right there, stop loss goes five pips above right there. So we have our we're in the market. We're shorting the market. We have our stop loss set right here. Now, for those of you wondering what a stop loss is, what this means is that if this market were to pull back and go against us, this is limiting our risk on this trade. So if we were to come in right now on this trade, right now we are risking 44 pips on this trade. Now, our strategy here, our strategy is going to be we're looking to go after either. In fact, let me go ahead. Let me compress my charts here. Oops, let me go ahead and let me move up, make this a little bit smaller here. Let me explain to you our strategy here as far as going after our target. Now, our target is going to equal. It's going to equal either a 1 to 1 risk ratio. In this case here, we're risking about 44 pips. That means we would be going after 44 pips as our target. Now, we're also going to have a minimum or a minimum, minimum, of 50 pips. So our target on this trade right here, because our risk is 44 pips, it doesn't quit, quite hit our minimum. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here, and we're going to set our target at 50 pips. So we're going to come in here. In fact, let me go ahead. Let me measure that to be accurate here. We're going to come in here, and let's see, 50 pips is right about See, right about there, so 1.8087. So, oops, sorry about that. So 1.80, So right there, right about there is our target right there. So what, does everybody understand what we're doing so far? We are in a market sell position. We have our stop loss set five pips above the high. Because we're risking 44 pips, we have a minimum, because we're going after a one-to-one -one risk ratio, we're going after a minimum of 50 pips. We're setting our target 50 pips below our entry. Just got to type in a Y, type in the yes. Let me make sure that everybody does, in fact, understand that there. So thank you, uh, Danny, Catronia, uh, Robert. Great. I appreciate everybody responding there. So let's go ahead in here. Let's see what happens now. Now, this is a 60-minute time frame. Each one of these candles, it represents one hour of time frame. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Five hours later, the market does, in fact, come down, hits our target, hits our limit right there, and we just captured 50 pips on that trade. So now, we've gone ahead, we've hit this target. Our target now is 50 pips. We just captured 50 pips. Now, that would equal, if you were trading a mini law, in fact, I'll go ahead and I'll type this out here, 50 pips uh, with a mini law trade, that means you just generated $50. On a standard law trade, that would equal $500 in profit at $10 per pip. So let me go ahead and let me type that out for everybody. So just to give everybody a perspective of what we were able to accomplish on there. So how many of you are liking that strategy? How many of you so far are liking the strategy 
right there. And uh, David brings up a good question. Uh, David says here, if uh, you're, you're, you're risking more than 50 pips, is your target larger than 50 pips? Absolutely, David. If we were to come in here, and let's just say our stop loss was set up maybe a little bit higher, and let's see, we entered, I think, right about there. Uh, where did we enter? I think we entered there. Let's just say we were risking 75 pips on that trade. So if we were risking 75 pips, that means that our target would have been somewhere down here or it would have been 75 pips. So David, I hope to, hopefully that answers your question. Hopefully I think I'll be able to share with you a trade on how that actually works. But so far right there, we're up 50 pips. Even with a mini lot, that's still $50, not too bad. So let's go ahead here. Let's bring this now to the next 3 a.m. candle. So right there, in fact, let me come in here. Let me delete all these here, clean this up a little bit. And i got a little bit of time here. Let me see if I can show you a couple different trades of how this works. So once again, now we have our next 3 a.m. candle. Here's our next 3 a.m. candle right there. So what we're going to do here, we're going to come in, we're going to set two pending orders. We're going to come in here and set an entry buy position 10 pips above. So 68, that means we're going to set it at 78 right there. So there's our entry buy position. Now I'm going to type that out once again. I'm going to ask everybody on the next trade to go ahead and give me the answers to this. So entry buy, that's going to equal plus 10 pips above. Just like that. So entry buy equals 10 pips above. Now we're also going to come in, we're going to set an entry sell position. Entry sell is going to be 5 pips below. So we come in here, let's see, 40, we're set it at 35 right about there. So entry sell, entry sell is going to equal minus 5 pips below. Now once again, I know some of you might be wondering, oops, sorry about that, entry cell equals minus 5 pips. There we go. Now once again, these are simply pending orders. We market, total market actually closes, breaks below, either below that line or rallies up and breaks. Now the difference here, because 10 pips above, 5 pips below, when we're buying into the market, we have to comp take in consideration for the spread. Once again, in the live webinars, you can ask these professional ants. They'll gladly go into a little bit more detail here with this here. So let's go ahead in here now. Let's see what happens here. Next candle, one hour, two hours. Bam. Two hours later, the market goes ahead, breaks our line right there. So our entry sell position right here, that now just became a market sell position meaning that we are now in this market and we are now shorting the market right there. Now, first order of business, once we actually enter into the market, is to cancel the opposite order. In this case, we're going to come in here, we're going to cancel this entry buy position because we are looking to short the market, we are looking to sell this market. Next order of business is to come in and we're going to set our stop loss. Now, stop loss goes five pips above the high of that candle, so 74, and it's going to be 79, right about, right about there. So that's going to be our stop loss. So stop loss. Now, once again, this is when, when selling or shorting the market. It's going to be a little bit different when we buy into the market. Hopefully, I'll be able to show you a buying trade here. That's going to be plus five pips above. Once again, take into consideration for the spread. So there's going to be our stop loss right there. We have our market sell position. So I'm going to take out my information tool here. I'm going to measure what we're looking at here. Now we are risking on this trade 43 pips. 43 pips right there. Now, if we have a one-to-one -one minimum risk ratio here, that means we'd be going after 43 pips, but in actuality we're going after a minimum of 50 pips. So we're going to come in here and we're set this at 50 pips right there. So 1.7986. That's going to be our target, 1.7986 right there. Now, I'm going to type that out once again. In fact, let me go ahead and see if I can compress this here for everybody here. Let me compress this. And the next target right here, target is going to equal, it's either going to be a 1 to 1 risk ratio. But in this case here, because we're going after, I think we're risking, what, 43, 40, 46, 50, or whatever it was, we're also going after a minimum, minimum, oops, let me see if I can, Bring it up here for you. Or a minimum, 
minimum, minimum of plus 50 pips. So in this case here, we're going after 50 pips on this trade right there. Now, is everybody, go, is everybody understanding this so far? I just want to make sure everybody's understanding this. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. What happened here, we crossed this line. Our market, our entry buy position became a market sell position. Once again, this is done in your broker's platform. It's done in your broker's platform. You place that right there. We set a stop loss, five pips above the high of that candle, the 3M candle right there. Actually, in this case right here, let me make sure I did that right here. There's the, oops, let me come in here. There's actually the 3M. So 68 actually is going to be 73. So right there's our, our spot loss right there. Right there. So uh, five pips above. We're in a market sell position. We're risking, what I say we were risking on this trade? We're risking uh, 37 pips. So the minimum we're going after is 50. So there's our target right there. So let's go ahead. Let's see what happens on this trade. Now, one, next hour, bam, next hour the market breaks down, hits our target, and we just captured another 50 pips on that trade. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to delete that right there. Now, for those of you wondering, in fact, I can just come in here and copy and paste that. So on the next trade right there, we're up another 50 pips. So not too bad so far. Two trades so far, we're up 100 pips. That's about $100 if you're trading a mini lot account about $1,000 when you're trading a standard lot. How many of you are liking uh, this strategy so far? Just got to type in a Y, type in a yes. So, so far, this seems like something that's pretty easy you can do. Now, here's another neat thing about this is that, do you see here, look what just happened here. This market here, look how much it pulled back right there. Oops, let me see if I can come in here. Oops. I look at that right there. So there's actually more opportunity here. In fact, if you wanted to, you could even set a trailing stop right there and keep making money as this is going down. So I see some of you asking, hey, can you set a trailing stop? Absolutely. If you want to go ahead and do that, what I'm trying to show you here is just a simple strategy here of simply being able to come in here, telling after 50 pips per day. And once again, this is simply just on one currency pair. Imagine doing this on all six currency pairs. In fact, I'll show you here. I'll bring this to the live market. I'll actually show you what these six currency pairs did last night. So I'm going to do, go ahead in here. Once I have about enough time, uh, I'm going to show you one more quick trade right here. Let's go ahead and let's delete all this here. A lot of you are asking a lot of good questions. I'm going to try to answer a lot of these questions as well. Uh, let's just come in here. Let's clean our charts up. And the other thing I want to point out is that this is something here. I'm just showing you the strategy. The strategy is just something very straightforward here. In our live market empowerment mentorship program, you're actually going to be trading live with these professional analysts as this is going on. In fact, you'll actually be coming into the live market here before this 3 a.m. candle. You're going to have the professional analyst. He's going to analyze the market. He's going to see where the market's going, and they're going to help you as far as being more, giving you a higher probability on your trades based on the direction they see the market going as well. So what I'm doing is I'm simply just showing you the strategy here. If you want to learn how to do this, I'm going to show you here in just a moment how you can get in and actually start doing this from a live professional. So, so let's come in here now, and we are at the, uh, I'm sorry, that's the 2 a.m. candle. We need to advance that one more. So here's our next uh, 3 a.m. candle right there. So do it just like what we did before. In fact, let me just double check to make sure that's right here. We have our next 3 a.m. candle right there. So it's 3 a.m. So let's come in here. In fact, let me ask those of you here in the room right now. In fact, actually some of you are saying, hey, do you trade this around announcements? That's the neat thing about this is that as part of our live market mentorship program, that might be one of the things that one of our professional analysts might be able to help you avoid. Maybe there's going to be an announcement on the, uh, that's going to affect the British pound or the Japanese yen. They might say, you know what, you might want to avoid taking this trade based on that announcement. So once again, that's the, one of the key thing, parts about getting into our live market empowerment program is that they're going to help you with these trades as well. So let's come in right now. Let's come in here. We're going to start off. We're going to start off by setting at the close of our 3 m candle. We're coming here. We're going to set an entry buy position. The entry buy position, how many pips above the high of that 3 a.m. candle is the entry buy. Go type in the chat box. Let me see how many people are getting this. Yeah, we're going to set our entry buy 10 pips above there. So yeah, Dwayne got that Anthony fader. Yeah, very simple strategy. Entry buy. Type that for you. Entry, entry buy that equals plus 10 pips above. Yeah, so uh, Lee got that. Charles did. Absolutely. Now, we're also going to come in here. We're going to set an entry sell position. Entry sell position is going to go how many pips below the low of that. Yeah, so Lee got that, uh, Anthony, Charles, Dwayne, Carroll. Yeah, so we're coming here. So that's going to be at 90, 
three, right about there. So there's going to be our entry cell right there. So entry, entry cell is going to equal, going to equal minus five pips below, just like that. So not doing anything different than we did on the previous trade there. We have our entry by, entry sell. So let's see what happens on this next trading opportunity. Now, bam, the market breaks, crosses over that line. So, oops, it looks like something happened there. Our entry, our entry buy position, our pending order, that just became now a market buy position. This means that we have just now, oops, that means we have just bought into the market, and we are now buying this market. We are in an inch. Oh, I wonder why it's doing that. Market buy. Let me try this one more time. There we go. Okay, so market buy. We're now buying into this market. Now, first order business is to close out the opposite order. In this case right here, we're going to close out the opposite order right there. We're going to close out that entry cell because we're buying into the market right there. So we come in here, we delete all this just like that. Now, here's something a little bit different here. As I told you before, when we're buying into the market, now one of the things we have to do is when we don't have this thing with our stop loss here, we're not going to have to take into consideration for the, the uh, spread. So let's come in right now, and we're going to set our stop loss now, five pips below, so 97, so 90, 92, right about there. In fact, let me go ahead and make this a little bit bigger here so everybody can see, and I'll zoom back in here. So right there, right about there, bam. So there's our stop loss right there. Stop loss, stop loss when buying into the market. When you're buying into the market, it's going to be at, oh, I'm sorry, oops, I apologize, it's going to be at the low. Let's let me fix that here for you. It's going to be at the low. At the low. I forgot we don't have to take consideration for the spread when we are buying into the market. So that's a selling position right there. So stop loss when buying is actually going to be at the low of the 3M candle. We buy into the market right there at 10 pips above the high of that candle. Now, on this trade, on this trade right here, we are risking 31 pips. Now, at a one-to-one -one risk ratio, that means we'd be going after 31 pips. But if we have a minimum, a minimum of five pips, or I'm sorry, a minimum a daily range, how many, what's our minimum that we're going after? Yeah, we're going after a minimum of 50 pips. So we're coming in here, 1.7983. So 1.7983, right there. That's our target. In fact, let me edit that right there. Our target, let me change the color. And our target's going to be target equals plus 50 pips. Okay, so let's come in here now, and let's see what happens on this one. Now, once again, each one of these candles represents one hour time frame. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight hours later, market rallies up, and we just captured another 50 pips in three days of trading. How many of you does this seem like something that's easy enough that you could do? How many of you would love to be able to learn how to do this from the guy that developed this strategy? You're just going to type in a me, type in a yes, if you think there's something easy you can do, and you'd love to be able to learn this in the actual live market, trade live with these live professionals. Yeah, Jonathan says yes. Uh, Marvin says yes. Fred does. So here's what I want to do. Let me go ahead in here. Let me quickly, I, I promised you I would show you here what the most recent trades were. Let me show you here uh, as of last night. Let me pull up all of our our currency pairs here. Now, so here was a 3 a.m. candle from last night. This was on the British pound Australian dollar. Look at there, directional movement up. Uh, British pound Swiss franc, 3 a.m., directional movement up. Great British pound New Zealand dollar, directional movement downward. Uh, British pound U.S. dollar, in fact, let me see if I can zoom in here for you right there. Uh, there's our 3 a.m. candle, directional movement down. And the British pound Canadian dollar, directional movement downward here. So those of you who are looking to get started here, you want to learn how to do this from a live instructor, let me quickly introduce you. Let me show you what our Forex Masterminds have been able to do. Josh Martinez and Christopher Pulver, they're going to teach you in a live market session here how to actually do this here. Now, let me go ahead and let me show you some of the results of our live sessions here. We do have a live trading session coming up this upcoming Tuesday here. We have our upcoming trading session coming on. Look at this. 
427 pips from our February 3rd trading session, 99 pips from March 17th, February 17th, 50 pips on that trading session. Let me, let me quickly, I see some of you saying, hey, how do we get started here? Let me explain to you what you're going to get. You're going to get actual eight live trading sessions from these gentlemen. You're going to learn in these trading sessions how to actually do this. You're going to go into live market, teach you how to do this here. You're also going to avoid costly mistakes. And because this will be a live webinar just like you are here with me here today, you can actually ask them questions here. A lot of you are asking some good questions. I'm about to run out of time. Another neat thing about joining our program here today, joining this mentorship program, you're also going to get live access to our analyst on-demand service. Special bonus for joining here today. So those of you who are traders right here, worth the price out of admission here, to be able to ask these professional analysts on a daily basis, ask these questions of where the market's going. Now, I don't have much time here today, but I know some of you might be wondering, well, how much does something like this cost? $1,000? $5,000, $10,000, to be able to trade live with a professional analyst with these type of results we're getting. Here's the neat thing about this is that for today, those of you who enroll into our program, it's actually only going to cost you $27. Less than a dollar a day, you actually get to trade live with these professional analysts for the first 30 days of this mentorship. And it is backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee. So I only have about three more minutes here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to send that link out into the chat box right now. I'm going to go ahead. Send this link out into the chat box. Those of you who are ready to get started here, click on that link. We're going to show you how you can actually get into this trading session here. So I'm going to go ahead here. I only have about another minute or so. Let me pull this up here and show you here. When you click on that link, it's going to take you to this page right here. It's going to show you everything you're going to receive as part of this mentorship here. You're going to get the live trading sessions. And once again, we have another live trading session coming up this next Tuesday. All of this is included for $27. And you only have, actually you only have about an hour to register for this. So you click on that right there. It's going to take you to the page and you can go ahead and register. Now, how many of you are registering for this? Just go ahead and type in a me, type in a yes if you are going to go ahead and register for this here today. So yeah, so uh, Jeremy just typed in yes. Uh, Donald just typed in yes. William did. Victor did. Uh, Sam and Susan. So yes, go ahead. Just go ahead and type a quick minute. Click on that link. $27. And once again, Full money back guarantee here today. Full money back guarantee. And normally, normally this costs $297. Outside of this webinar here today, it would cost you $297. Those who didn't enroll, enroll here today, it's only going to cost you $27 for the first 30 days. Money back guarantee. You can get into this mentorship program. And within those 30 days, if you decide this isn't for you, no worries. You simply call up and talk to your education specialist. You can get your full $27 back. So. Once again, we do have a London breakout trading session going on next Tuesday with Joshua Martinez. So, yeah, I saw uh, Ron just did, Jeff did, uh, Sam Matsura. So, yeah, if you could just give a quick shout-out, let me know you are, in fact, registering for this. But I think I'm about done here today. I think I only have about another minute or so. So if anybody has any questions here, once again, $27, less than a dollar a day, you're also going to get live access to that analyst on demand service. So right there, well worth the price of admission here today and you get into this London breakout strategy, all the details are on the trading the page here. When you click on the link, all the details of everything you receive as part of this live market mentorship trading club program here. Value of over $5,400. You simply click on the link. You get to test drive this $427 here today, risk-free money back guarantee. Fader says, how often are the mentorship live classes? There is a live mentorship class each week. So each month you're going to get Live mentorship series trading with these live brokers here. Eight trading sessions per month. So uh, thank you, uh, Jonathan. Thank you, Daniel, uh, Wayne. I think I'm about to run out of time here today. So everybody just keep clicking on that link. Go ahead and register for this. I think you only have about an hour to register for it before. That goes back up to the $297 to register for this year today. So uh, thank you, uh, Drew. Thank you, Pamela. I appreciate that. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this back to uh, Reed right now. I see Reed has gone ahead. He has sent the link back out into the uh, chat box here. So I just want to thank everybody. Thank you, Investor Inspiration, for allowing me here to speak today. Once again, only $27 for this. And once again, pay, students pay thousands of dollars learning how to do this from a live instructor. You get to actually look over the shoulder of a live trader in these live trading sessions here. $27, probably the deal of the day. But I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to let Reed take this over. I want to say thank you to everybody, those of you who are enrolling here today. And on that, I wish everybody a good day.